I just hand sanitize. Hello, Mr. Norkin. My name is Caitlin. I'm a student physical therapist assistant that's going to be working with you. How are you? Good, honey. Good. Thanks for asking. So the plan for today is we're going to practice our transfer. So we're going from the bed to the wheelchair and back. And then we're going to work on gait training just to see how you're doing with your walking. Is that okay? Yep. All right. So before we get started, um, do you have any pain right now? Uh, five out of ten. Where is it at? This one. All right. So throughout the treatment, if it increases at all, I just want you to go ahead and let me know, okay? Okay. All right. Um, and then when was the last time that you rewrapped your bandaging? Two hours ago. Two hours ago. Good. So you want to make sure that, again, every four hours you're switching out that bandage or having one of the nurses switch it out for you just to make sure we're checking the incision site and checking for any abnormalities um, and any signs for infections, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I know that you had diabetes. So have you been doing your daily foot, your daily skin checks? Yep. Yep, good. So if you do notice any um, open wounds or anything like that, go ahead and let somebody know so we can hopefully prevent any infections, okay? All right. All right, so and then one more thing before we get you off, if you feel dizzy or lightheaded at all, go ahead and tell me, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna place the skate belt on you, is that okay? Good. So the first thing that we're going to start off with is we are going to start with our transfers. So what you're going to do is you're going to seat towards the edge of your bed and then on the count of three you're going to push off from the bed and then we're going to pivot, we're going to do a stand pivot and once you feel the chair behind your left leg you're going to go ahead and reach back for the wheelchair. The wheelchair is locked. Um, when you stand up you can go ahead and feel free to hold on to my arms if that's more comfortable, okay? Okay. So on the count of three, one, two, three, pivot. Pivot and then sit. Good. How'd that feel? Good. All right. So before we do it again, we're going to do this like about five times. So ideally, what you're going to do when you transfer is you're going to transfer to your non-infected leg, so your left leg. But I know that you said at your house that um, when you're going into bed that you have trouble moving the wheelchair, you won't have enough room. So we're going to practice transferring towards your affected leg just so you get used to that feeling, to that sensation. So when you get home, you can be as independent as possible. But whenever um, you can, I want you to transfer always towards your affected leg because the affected leg, I mean the non-affected leg, because it's gonna be your driving force. And it's also gonna help you protect um, any trauma from happening from you from bumping your residual limb to anything, okay? Because we always wanna make sure we're protecting that residual limb. All right? Yep. So we're gonna keep going. Scoot towards the edge of the chair. And then on count of three, we're gonna push up, okay? One, two, three, and then seven, two. Good. How'd that feel? Good. All right. We're gonna go again. Two. One, two, three, and then reach back. Good. And then always make sure that when we're moving our residual limb, that you kind of pick it up and you're not dragging it to prevent any shearing forces, so we're not having any skin breakdown or irritation. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One more. We're gonna get back to the bed. Uh, count three. One, two, three. Scoop and sit. How'd that feel? Good. Did you have any increase of pain or anything? No. Nope. No. Good. So we're still gonna continue this um, every day. We're just gonna try to build you strength and your endurance, and then work on your independence. Okay. Sure. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do some gait training. Where I would wheel him over in the wheelchair, but I don't have one, so. I also don't have any walker, but we're gonna use crutches. And I measured, so to the residual, I mean, so the walker, the handlebars went to the crease of the wrist to make sure that it was at the right height. Um, just stay seated. So when we're walking, I'm gonna show you what I want you to do. So you're gonna move the walker forward, and then with your um, residual limb, you're gonna move it forward, shift the weight onto your arms, and then hop. Walker, 
rip your way forward in half. Okay? Yep. And count of three. Remember how we practice standing up? Yep. One, two, three. Yep. All right. Go slow again. Mm -hmm. All right. So walker. Go. Yep. Right leg. Walker, right, left, 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 walker, there you go. Okay. How are we feeling? Good. Do you feel short of breath at all? Uh no? No. Okay, good. So we're going to go over there. We'll do one more lap, okay? Sure. Walker, right, left. Walker, right, left. Oh, I forgot where I went. Okay. Walker, right, left. 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 Walker, right, left, and turn. All right, we're going to take a standing rest break, okay? Sure. I want you to just take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And we'll just take a break because I want you to go farther than we did last time, okay? All right. So we're going to try to do another there and back lap. Um, before we do, I'm going to explain to you the importance of this, okay? So what this is doing is it's not only helping with your motor learning because now you only have one leg to walk on right now, we're retraining your mind how to walk with one leg, but it's also helping with muscular endurance, especially in your glute med muscle, which is right here. That muscle is helping you with your um, single leg balance. So by doing this for multiple times, long distances, we're increasing mitochondria size so we can get more oxygen to that muscle so it can sustain longer mm. contractions. You ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> Good, go. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> I know, I'm talking so fast. Good, walk your right, left. Walker right left, 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 and then turn. How are we feeling? Good. Do you need to sit or can we make it back to the wheelchair? We can make it back. Alright, go ahead. Walker right left, walker right left, walker right left. Walker right left, 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 good. Turn, and then we're going to take hop backwards because you're not touching it yet. Good, and I'll take the walker, go ahead and reach back. Good. All right, how are you feeling? Good. Any pain or anything? Nope. How about, did you feel any pain in that left leg? No. No? Good. If at any point in time when you're walking or you're up and about and you feel pain in that left leg, I want you to go ahead and just take a seated rest break because that could be a sign of um, intermittent claudication due to your PVD. So at any point in time you feel pain in that leg, just go ahead and take a rest break, okay? Okay. Um, so that's it for right now. We're just doing the transfers and the gait training. Um, so I'm just going to have you stay in this chair. I gave you your call light and everything okay? Sure. All right, have a good day. All right, peace.